Our main focus is for kids to really enjoy loving exercise and eating healthy. My name is Claudia Chirino. My position is project coordinator senior. I work at Children's Hospital and I've been there for a little over four years now. Hi, sorry, I'm just connecting to audio. I got my master's in, um, in social work and then my master's in public health with an emphasis in health education and then social work with an emphasis in health. Yeah, right after USC, I started my job at Children's Hospital as a program coordinator. I taught community nutrition classes um, out in the community in uh, service planning area five, which is West Los Angeles. And then um, after that, got onboarded to the Body Works program. These kids are diagnosed with obesity or are seen um, basically by their doctors as overweight. Um, they come in with the expectation that our program is for their child to lose weight. It's something that they they don't want the child to lose weight. They want them to be able to eat healthy so that as they get older, um, they're at a healthy weight level for themselves, their height and their age. So really the main focus is for them to learn about healthy habits, how to have a balance of eating. We did have a referral recently for a child who was somewhere between 300 and 400 pounds. So I, I want to say there are some cases where we do have BMI levels of 30 and 40, which is really high. Go ahead and try to touch your toes. All right? If you can't touch those toes, your ankles are awesome friends or knees. Let's go. So technically one program, but it's also two. So the first part is um, the Body Works program. So that's a nutrition education online class. We always tell kids to know their own abilities. We always preface with saying if you're not able to jump, like please feel free to do modifications. I'll do the modifications on my screen. I mean really our, our want is for them to desire to do exercise and do it at their own pace and their own level. The majority of our participants are Latino, Hispanic, I want to say like 90% of them are. The majority are also low income and also we've seen that there is um, maybe like 80% families who are food insecure too. You know, having uh, a lot of these kids be uh, first generation or second generation Americans just like me, so I can relate a lot. With the recession in, in um, I think 2010, that impact, uh, impacted my family, so I was definitely food insecure as a teenager, so I can relate a lot to these families. Also having that public health background, I think it, it makes us kind of bring up the point that you need to really get to know your community or know who you're servicing before you can just bring about ideas for change, because ultimately they know what is best for them and how to best create change, because if we just bring in ideas that are not going to work for them, they're not going to take them and absorb them. And I think it, it helps to be able to kind of understand kind of their struggles and then also be able to pull on, on strengths as well.